Okay, and see, in this one we're looking at log law 2. Uh, it's kind of the opposite of log law 1. Log law 1 was looking at addition and multiplication. This is looking at division, uh, subtraction and division. So we can write this as log base x, doesn't matter what the base is, a minus log base x b. Now those bases need to be the same, but I don't care what they are. It's equal to log base x, so whatever the base was, a over b. Log base x a minus log base x b equals log base x a divided by b, all in brackets. Now, again, this is useful in two ways. You can move forward or you can move backwards. So looking at an example here, we could say uh, log base, well, let's just make it base 10 again. So we'll make that, um, say, 30, log base 10, 30, minus log base 10, uh, 20, equals. Now we can rewrite log base 30 minus log base 20 as log base 10, 30 over 20. And then we can simplify that as log base log base 10, 3 over 2. So we can say that log base 30 minus log base 20 is equal to log base 3 over 2. Uh, now of course you can work in the opposite way if you would like to. Uh, you could say that log base 10, um, I don't know, 5 over 2. You could rewrite that if you wanted to as log base 10, 5 minus log base 10, 2. Now both of these again are going to be useful in the broader scheme of things when we start solving these log law questions.